What's going on guys, Cubologist here again, and today we've got a small unboxing from Cubes for Speed, as usual. Thanks to them for sending this over. But this is a new 2x2, as you can see by the title. It's in the Guan series by YJ, like the Guanlong and the Guansu, which is a pretty good 4x4 that's out recently. I'll have a review out on that soon, by the way. But this is the Guan Po, so I'm pretty excited for this. It's pretty inexpensive, and that's exciting because I really like the idea of good puzzles at a cheap price. It's only $3.50 on Cubes for Speed, which is pretty ridiculous, about the same price as a Guanlong. But let's see here. Now, YJ came out with the Yupo a little while ago, and that was actually pretty nice. I thought it was probably as good as the Lingpo whenever it came out, but let's do some first turns here. Okay, so the plastic feels pretty hard, like on the Guansu and the Guanlong. You can hear that. That's pretty nasty catch. Let's do some corner cutting. Uh, almost 45. It locks at 45, but as you can see, it's got pretty decent movement. I'm actually not getting... Yeah, there are some catches, but that could just be a setup issue. Definitely something that I could fix. But I like the design with the big Florian cuts. As you can see there, it is not a split design, so you won't see any stickerless versions of this anytime soon. But overall, for 350, pretty good puzzle, I have to say. Let's do a scramble here. I can show you guys how bad I am at 2x2. Two two. Let's see, that looks good. And, wow, I mistakenly gave myself a decent scramble. So, I'll do like that green side I got a soon on top and then all right that's not too bad through the viewfinder as you can see here the corner actually is a two-piece design the way this works is you can see there are some slots here and then you've got this piece so let's see if I can get this to work you just put it in like that and then that makes the corner. I'm not 100% sure what this slot right here is for, unless it's to put something in there to wedge this out. But I found that you could just put something in right here and you can pry it out. And then with the inner wing pieces, you see it's a pretty generic design that we see on most 2x2s. So out of the box, this puzzle feels pretty much just like an inexpensive 2x2. Kind of hard plastic, not the best corner cutting, but not bad either. For $3.50, it's definitely a good pickup. If you have the Guansu, it has the same exact plastic, I would almost bet on it. So it has that hard, kind of fast feel, but I still really like this puzzle and I look forward to solving with it. So give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Go check out the puzzle on Coops for Speed if you want to pick it up for $3.50, and I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, just here again, and as you can see by the title, today we're doing a Q&A. So what I did is I actually posted on Twitter. I said, hey guys, Twitter Q&A, ask away. And now we're gonna get into that. So as you can see, I'm doing an average of 12 on my GANS 356. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's not a PB or anything. But like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's sub 17, but like all of my averages, it has its ups and downs. But I will put the scrambles in the description.